how important is it to know what other faiths believe or world religions or worldviews? How do we use that kind of apologetics in sharing the gospel? Right. Jehovah's it, Witness knocks on the door. Sure. That's probably happened to all of us. <laughs> yeah. We have to be ready to know what to say. What, what do we do? Well, I mean, in some of those scenarios, we need to understand just, you know, Jehovah's Witness and what we're going to engage in. Uh, you know, we're kind of jumping to this. How should we learn? What should we think? Well, one of the resources on your paper, uh, put it on there. Uh, it's a couple different things. There's a pamphlet that you can find on there. It says Rose Publishing. And then if you were at the Study in the Bible panel, you'll be surprised I say this. But the uh, back of the ESV Study Bible, <laughs> which I plugged the whole last one. I'm going to plug it again this one. <clears throat> but uh, at the end of it, there's some resources there as well for other religions if you already own an ESV Study Bible as well. But um, all that being said, those are ways you can read and study other religions. But here's what, it, what we got to be careful about is to say, I'm going to study this other religion so that when the Jehovah's Witness comes to the door, I got this zinger for them. And as soon as I give them to this, they're not going to know what they're doing with their religion anymore, and they're going to come to Christ. Well, well that doesn't work that way. I mean, how many times has that ever happened? That you're going to study it up and give them this real good truth. Uh, here, here's what I would do. I would want to know their religion, but then in turn, from that, that allows me to ask right questions to then bring the gospel to them. That's why I, I just want to know it so that I know if I meet a Muslim, I don't have to talk to a Muslim about a high view of God. That's done. I have to talk to a Muslim when I meet with them about a personal God. That's the, that's the next conversation I can have there because they don't realize a relationship with God is anywhere on the radar. And so you learn faith so that your presentation matches what they uh, think. So to me, that's, that's how I would process that study. And then I think you mentioned something Aaron, earlier about this, Aaron. You want to say that? Yeah. Um, we met earlier before this and talked about it, it's a value to study other religions so that we know uh, some differences, uh, but it's of greater value to be studying Scripture to see the truth. And if you know the truth so well and know the gospel so well, you can see a counterfeit. And so the more you study God's Word, the more you're able to navigate uh, some of what other people believe and then lead them from their unbelief into belief because you know the truth so well.